Green, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Good evening and happy Tuesday. After a cold start, more seasonal nature we started out at 38 degrees. We rebounded to 78, two degrees away from 80, but still 16 degrees, believe it or not, away from that average high of 62 degrees for this time of year. A lot of sunshine today, deep blue skies, just a few high thin clouds out there. And yes, it was windy for most of us. Wind gusts up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. We had wind gusts up to 26 mile per hour winds here in Mathis Field. Close to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, Merton, up to 31 mile per hour wind gusts out towards Ozona and in Big Lake. Thankfully, those winds will eventually come down over the next hour or so. Most of us are already seeing those winds much cooler, you know, much calmer than what we had earlier today, but the cold front continues to progress southward. Now, actually, just around San Antonio, but you'll see this high pressure eventually moving in towards the Texas uh, panhandle, eventually will also move in towards the big country, and this will impact our weather for tonight. We'll see skies staying at least mostly clear for the northern and western half of our area and winds eventually coming down for all of us over the next couple of hours. Also, dew points are in those 30s. Uh, dew, dew point of about 33 degrees to our north in Abilene. 35 degree dew points right here in San Angelo along with Del Rio. But most of us are dealing with those low dew points. So unfortunately, we do have a lifting mechanism, but we just don't have the enough um, enough moisture to get the precipitation for this cold front. So that cold front will be a dry one. A little bit of moisture does come back into the area for your Wednesday. So We'll pick up that cloud cover as a result. Peaks of sunshine can't be ruled out. We'll see that dry air by the weekend. And then by Monday, finally getting that deeper moisture here across west and west central Texas, you'll see that moisture more prominent out towards east Texas. And that will be the area that sees the better potential at those scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. So for tonight, we'll see a little bit of that cloud cover starting to come back in from the west. Most of us holding on to mostly clear skies. We'll see a few peaks of sunshine for tomorrow. The cloud cover that you are seeing here showing up on our future cast will be those high thin clouds. We're not expecting any mid to lower level cloud cover, so that's just something to keep in mind. That means we're not going to see any rain with this or any rain with our next cold front coming in. This is going to be a Pacific cold front. This comes in by Thursday night. That means our winds will increase out of the west, and we could see potentially some blowing dust in some of our far northwestern counties by the evening hours. Eventually seeing our next cold front coming in right behind it early Friday morning. This is just going to be a secondary push of cool air coming in from the north and that will eventually keep us back to where we should be for this time of year by Friday afternoon. In terms of our rainfall, unfortunately didn't pick up any rain yet for December. We should be seeing uh, at least month to date of around a tenth of an inch of rain. We are unfortunately four inches under where we should be for this time of year. We should be seeing those rainfall totals of about 20 and a half inches here at least in San Angelo. Temperature wise a little slower to cool tonight compared to last night at this our temperatures at about 51 degrees in Eden, 48 now in Ballinger, coming in at 51 in Robert Lee, 50 degrees here at Mathis Field, 51 degrees out towards Merson. So, what to expect in terms of the upper levels of the atmosphere? We have a weak upper level ridge right over us. So, although we will be slightly cooler for tomorrow, temperatures still about 10 degrees above average for where we should be this time of year. A weak trough and another weak ridge eventually continuing that zonal flow aloft. And this means that we're going to hold on to a relatively quiet weather pattern over the next several days. In terms of our temperatures, I said it's going to be a little bit cooler for tomorrow. Temperatures still about 10 degrees above that average high, 72 degrees for your Wednesday. 81 for Thursday. We see that Pacific cold front coming in. That'll bring those westerly winds in. Those westerly winds usually get us much warmer than what we should be seeing for this time of year. A secondary push to cooler air allows our temperatures to back off about 20 degrees. And then we'll hold on to that gradual warming turn back into the upper 60s and the lower 70s by Sunday. Before you know, it, we'll have another cold front coming in, keeping that roller coaster turn with us. So for tonight, mostly clear. Another cold night ahead. Temperatures falling back into the mid 30s. I can't rule out the potential for those wind chills in the lower 30s as you wake up on your Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, temperatures do rebound to about 72 degrees. A few peaks of sunshine, some seeing a little bit more sunshine than others. But nonetheless, 10 degrees above average for this time of year as this unseasonably warm temperature trend still continues. We'll be back to about 81 degrees for your Thursday. Pacific cold front will increase those winds out of the west, eventually seeing another push of cold air by Friday. That'll take us from those lower 80s back into the lower 60s, and then we'll see a lot of sunshine, a beautiful start to our weekend ahead. Temperatures back into the upper 70s, and the same thing continues. Another Pacific front followed by a secondary push of cooler air. That'll keep us into the 50s as we head